Last Sunday, a certain store sold copies of Newspaper A for $1 each and copies of Newspapers B for $1.25 each, and the store sold no other newspapers that day. If R% percent of the store's revenue from newspaper sales was from Newspaper A, and if P% percent of the papers sold at the store were Newspapers A, which of the following expresses R in terms of P? So, we have A, we have B. We sold P percent of the, of the newspapers where they were A. That means 100 minus P were B. And let's just say that the total, total number of newspapers sold, we'll just say that this is N. That's a number that we'll cancel out later on. But we'll just throw it in. So what it means is that P over 100 times N is the number of newspapers of A sold. And 100 minus P times N over 100, this is the number of papers of B sold. Well, now the price turns out the revenue we get from A, just A times the price, which is 1. So it just stays the same thing, N times P over 100. The revenue from B, we have to multiply by $1.25, and I'm going to express $1.25 as 5 over 4. Express it as a fraction, since we're dealing with fractions. So what we get is 5N times 100 minus P over 400. Then we have to add these two, so I'm just going to multiply the numerator and denominator to this one by 4, so we get a common denominator, and then add them together, and what we get is 4n plus 5n, 500n minus 5np all over 400. And what this simplifies to, we can factor out the n, we get 500 minus p over 400. And so this is the whole. And the revenue from A, this is the part. And we want the percent. So percent, of course, is part over whole times 100. So that is the part, 4NP over 400 over the whole. N times 500 minus P over 400 times 100. Well, we cancel the 400s, we cancel the Ns, and what we get is 400 times P over 500 minus P. This is the ratio of the revenues that came from the sale of A, and this exactly matches answer choice D.